So this is Lulu. Lulu is a dog from a very famous property here in town that we've now taken 58 dogs from. We have had her since October. She was the mama to a litter that we sent to the Pacific Northwest known as the reindeer litter. And she was incredibly scared when she got here. She was incredibly skinny and in very poor shape. You can tell she's plumped right out and she's in good health now. She is about, if I remember right, about 60 pounds, uh, probably around three years old. Uh, she's lived with several dogs since she's been here. We always try to keep somebody in with her to help her kind of adjust to being around people more and come out of her shell. Uh, this is about the fifth time I've had her on a leash. It's her first time to come over here to the park and you know, she she does okay. Um, she still wants to bite on the leash and isn't a huge fan, but she walked over here under her own free will, didn't you, Lulu? Yeah, you did. So she um, she's just a sweet girl who just needs a chance. Um, she's fully vetted, she's spayed and everything, heartworm negative. She just needs a place where she's around more people on a daily basis so that she just continues to build that bond. Um, she doesn't have a mean bone in her body when it comes to people. Um, the only time she's had an issue with other dogs was over food and so we just make sure that we fed them separately and really it's only been one or two out of the probably seven or eight that she's housed with. Um, but she's she's just a sweet, sweet girl. So I'm gonna let her walk on a leash a little bit so you can kind of see what she does. Just remember, she's probably gonna try to bite on the leash some. But <clears throat> we're gonna try it. Are you ready, Lulu? Let's go, come on. And she certainly doesn't necessarily walk right by your side. Oh, now you look like a, like a precious little princess, don't you? You must know the camera's on. Yeah? No, don't chew on the leash. And ideally, yes, I would have a harness on her. Uh, this was just kind of a quick spur of the moment thing. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, that a girl. Let me switch my hands on my camera real quick with my leash hand so I can have her on the correct side. We don't need to chew on that. Okay, let's go. Come on, Lulu. Come on. No, we're not going to chew on it. We are not going to chew on it. No, ma'am. Okay, come on. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, let's go. So, like I said, she kind of bounces around a little bit. But we're, we're learning. This is far better than we've done before. And like I said, it's only about the fifth time we've really had her on a leash. For the first several months she was here, we truly just let her do her thing and didn't touch her because she was so scared. So we've come light years. And in all honesty, it's also not having been worked with anything remotely close to daily. Uh, she unfortunately kind of fell to the bottom of the list of importance simply because we've had so many other dogs that have, you know, either needed adopted or transferred or whatnot. So now that, now that we're ready to work on finding her a place, we're definitely putting a little more effort this summer where we've all got a little bit of time with school being out. But definitely a long way to go, but we've got a good foundation. Lulu, what do you think, girlfriend? What do you think? I know. I know.